I don't think that there's a better match for either of them than each other. And to know Sajra and Uzair as a couple is to know that you are in the presence of true love. Stars overhead, turn my head and I caught you by eye for the first time. My life to serve. So me and Uzair, we met eight years ago. We actually met on high school. We were in the same class together. We initially met on high school, grade 10 to be exact. I moved from Star International to Ryland's High. I couldn't see it for someone to see me like you. I was friends with Ashik and uh, Fatima was uh, Sajda's friend. To be honest, I never actually noticed him <laughs> the first day. To be honest, we were in the same class together. I met Sajda through. Fatima and Ashik. That was in P Block, in the Rylands High School in P Block. I remember Valentine's Day actually. That was the first time we actually noticed him was when we were taking pictures and he took my scarf and he wrapped it around his neck and I was thinking, what is this guy doing? It's so weird. It was a very uh, <laughs> crazy type of a guy. She was a very shy girl. She couldn't make eye contact with me. I was the one who always made the conversation, always made jokes. She was to herself. I find him to be quite funny and quirky and weird at times. And he seems often rough on the outside, but when you get to know him on a deeper level, I think you would really find him to be sweet. And I think for me, that's what threw me towards him. Her <laughs> <laughs> friends always knew I had a thing for her and I'm sure she also knew. I knew I had to make a girl my girl. She's a very, very kind hearted person. Once she gets to know you and gets comfortable with you, she, you can learn that she's very talkative, she's very humble and honest as well. To see me like you do My dearest beloved, we are about to embark on a new journey together, filled with new challenges, new memories and all new experiences we will face together. I truly thank you for sticking by me through all our ups and downs. You are a true blessing in my life and there is no one else I would rather imagine myself being with other than you. You are my one true love, forever and always. Your amazing wife, Sajda. Uzair means a lot to me. To lose him would, it would break me, it would shatter me. I can't picture my life without him. You know, we've been in each other's lives from a young age. I was, I think, 16 and I'm 24 today, so I can't even express how I would feel being without him. He's, he's everything to me. To lose anyone, any love, don't do that. As someone you confide in, someone you talk to daily, someone who understands you, it will be very difficult. <laughs> are you excited? There hasn't been any guys in my life. Zayda has been it for me. I knew from the time that we've been together that this is it. I don't think there was anyone else. At the time of the proposal, to be honest with you, I was very nervous. Very, very nervous. I was stuttering, I was all over the place, my emotions were all over. It was the day before my birthday. I think it was between the families, my family, his family probably organized this whole thing. I then informed my family, my father, my brothers, that I'm going to propose to her. So I let the mother in on it and let the sister and the father all knew. Okay. And 
and um, the system made the arrangement to get her away from the house so they can prep everything. I never expected the engagement at all. I always wanted it, I knew I always wanted that and it's something that we always spoke about that never happened and when that day finally came, I came in here being completely surprised just seeing his family all here and I was super excited and overwhelmed. It was a mix of emotions that I felt. So when she arrived here she was like shocked, very emotional. It's always been my best friend. She's been a sister, a friend, a best friend, someone I can talk to. <laughs> She's the only sister I have, so I hope that she knows that she means a lot to me. <laughs> I'm excited but I'm also nervous. I don't know how the day's gonna end up. I'm excited, I'm ready for that next chapter in my life. <gasps> Firstly, I would like to uh, thank everybody for attending uh, the wedding of Uzair and Sajida on behalf of the Ingers. Young children, I distinctly remember Sajid and I always watching princess movies. When the princess meet the prince, they fall in love and eventually get married. And I think Sajid definitely married her prince. I don't think that there is a better match for either of them than each other. it's quite obvious to see that they are a perfect balance for each other. And to know Sajra and Zaid as a couple is to know that you are in the presence of true love. You love for each other will so deepen and grow. That years from now, you will look back on this day, your wedding day, as the day you love each other the least. To be honest, I don't really remember the day I met you, Zay. I mean, it's in a while, like a while. <laughs> you remember the first day we met? No, you have to tell me. Now tell me where. At school. Now where exactly on school? In class. <laughs> no. There is no doubt that he makes Sajira feel loved and happy, and for that I can only say shukran to you, Zay. I don't know what that is. In Oh, yeah. I remember. Yeah, I remember. Then I should introduce her to my new to me. Oh, is that how it's on? We're trying so hard to get you what you couldn't, unfortunately. You know, he annoys me so much. I couldn't be happier to call him my brother-in-law. How many people do you have? Like a football team. A football team? <laughs> oh, no. A I would love to have a big family. I think Uzair comes from a big family, so I think he prefers to have a smaller, a small, maybe two or three. I, I could, I probably would have four or five, to be honest. No. How many children do you have? Three. Five. Two boys, two girls. Wow. I was talking about having one and she wants three and all that type of <laughs> Because I come from a big family and uh, she comes from a small family, so obviously she would want a bigger family, but I would want a small family. You're about to start this new chapter of your life and I'm excited to see what lies in for the both of you. Oh, no. <laughs> I love her. If that is not marrying, I wouldn't marry but I didn't love her. I was happy that she came into my life. I 
Nostalgia Day and Jose, my greatest wish for you is nothing but love, happiness and success for the adventure of marriage. I'd just like to thank each and everybody that has taken the time out of the day to celebrate with two families coming together. I would like us to have a special thought for my beloved cousin, the mother of Hosea, Saida Pandey Ingar. I would like to give tribute to my mother. Unfortunately, she could not be here today. Sajida, the person you have fallen in love with is the, the man that my mother has raised. Oh, it's a tough one. I don't know where to start, to be honest. But um, I'd like to thank my parents, my mother especially. For me, dear, as well. Today is your day. I'm grateful for every moment of it of my life, how they impacted me, motivated me, guided me. Don't forget the teaching of your parents. It just breaks my heart, knowing that she's not here anymore. I hope I'm really proud. I hope I'm not quite proud. Aji Yunus had also asked me just to, um, to remind his uh, beloved sons and daughter to please carry on with what your mother has laid down for you. I wish I could share this moment with her. I must be able to My parents is really important to me, so I just want to say shukran to them for everything they have done for me. I love you so, so much. <laughs>